All right, this door is open. So let's check this out. Today I'm shooting again with my Olympus Pen F and I have my 50 millimeter F1.8 uh, Zuiko vintage lens with a polarizer and a lens hood, of course. This one truck, the very first one, you can get a lot of different shots. Like you can see Dave up there. <laughs> like I like I like the grill, of course. These look like they open and close. There's a plug down here. Okay, let's see how this looks through the viewfinder. I like those horns and the lighting. Of course, the little Mac Bulldog, whatever that is. And right now I have dialed in my custom color profile, uh, which I'll share with you in a minute. But that's what you're looking at. And I'm dialed in at minus one EV. I think what I'll do is I'll just, since I can't really fit the whole truck in, I'm gonna go vertical. And I'm gonna frame it so that this bottom left light is in the lower thirds. And then the horns up here in the top right thirds. And I'm gonna focus on the bulldog. That'll be the main thing in focus. And then I'll rotate the polarizer. See how the glass is reflecting there? If I rotate the polarizer, you see how it's not reflecting as much anymore? That's about right there. I think it'll work. So let's try a shot like this. I mean, honestly, this truck, it's all rusted, but it doesn't look like it's that bad out of shape. But I'm going to try and get some of this here. I like this right here. So I think maybe right here, put the dog in the top left corner and then I'll get a little bit of this wheel, maybe a vertical. And then, uh, no, I'm not gonna be able to fill the frame enough with the dog if I try to get the wheel in. So I need to get a lot closer and go back to vertical, something like this. All right, let me get this wheel. I need to frame it so I'm not in the shot of the wheel. I know some people like that, but I, I don't. <laughs> yeah, it's a nice close up so we can see a lot of the finer details about this rim and maybe you frame it over here. We get the Mac in there. Yeah, like this. And then I'll rotate this way. Yeah, something like this. All right, then the last thing I wanted to get is like, maybe this, oh, I like this exhaust stack here too. Um, but I'm gonna focus on this bulldog and the front grill and this. So I'll have to back up to about here. This is about the framing I want. And I'm gonna center, see how the, the center spine here on the windshield with the bulldog all the way down. So I know I'm centered this way. And then I'll just level it. Maybe do a vertical. I'd like to get a wider shot because I like these hooks on the end, the clamps for the, the hood. So if I can just come a little bit wider, I'll have to back up a little bit. All right, same idea. Yeah, this is better. Center the bulldog with the windshield and come in a little bit closer. 
right here is perfect. Here we have a cab over, and I like the uh, I like the glass is all broken here. Um, they're like like bullet holes, like you see in my neighborhood. <laughs> let me uh, let me take a look through the lens. All right. This is really tight, but I, I want to make sure you get the detail of these windows. If I include a wiper washer or maybe the, the hood line. Again, let's see a vertical. Oh, I kind of like this right here. The way that uh, crack goes up to the top right corner. And then I can use the, uh, the grill here is great. Um, I'm just gonna back up a little. Yeah, right, right here would be good, I think. I'm gonna dial in F8 so I get a good depth of field. All right, this door is open. So let's check this out. Wow. Let's look inside this one. Gosh. This one's still got the keys in it. Still got the keys in it. I like the speedometer. Let's try another truck. This truck has got a tree growing on it. It's an old Ford apparently. Uh, color will look good here because you know this red paint is awesome and I'm just gonna focus right on the speedometer again make sure the gear shift is not in the way but uh, yeah this is cool and I like I like this is the broken glass from the outside and this evergreen just kind of growing in the middle. Let's, uh, let's get a shot here. So I'm gonna frame it like this. I might have to back up a little bit. What a vertical. No, I think, yeah, just this way will be fine. And does polarizer do anything? Just a little bit, yeah, right there. Polar okay, I have a red level three filter. Check my focus. Uh, 
I like this truck with the plants growing inside. <laughs> um, it's an old Ford, it looks like. And you see how the, the wiper there is just wiping an open space along with the glass. And I like how the glass is tiered. Like this is a little lighter shade than the next. And the trees and the leaves in the back, I like this. Let's, uh, let's frame something like this. This might be a second shot here. May, well, if I back up, I can include it. Let me try that. Yeah, that's a little better. Just like this. All right, another old Ford here. Oh, I like this, uh, this is totally gone. Just the bulb is showing. I like how this is kind of still attached, but falling off. So I'm gonna get a shot here. And then with this uh, Ford emblem right here too. I think this right here makes a nice scene. I just have to kind of get a little further back. Yeah, you see this scene right here? I like this. And then the sun is hitting the bulb, getting a little specular there. This is awesome. Back up a little more. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Uh, I like the knobs and stuff sticking out here. The headliner is just kind of laying around, but that's okay. Let's get a shot here. Okay, since the 50 millimeter is so close, I'm gonna focus on individual details. So I like this, um, the knobs here. And then I like the, the gear shift knobs too. So I'm gonna try and get all this in one shot. We just maybe just one gauge would be enough. This old Ford has a little different gauge on it. Let's uh, focus in. This has white gauges. And a little grill there. You'd think there might have been a radio there, but it's probably just a vent. And I'm shooting at F8 mostly right now. Let's, uh, let's go take a look at the fire engine. Wow. It says Burnsville Volunteer Fire Department. It's down in here. Ah, it's rusted shut. Good looking hoses there. You can see all the way through the other side. <laughs> of course, what else would you expect, right? They're hoses. Ooh. Look at this spider web right here. And whatever this gun is, some kind of water gun. Okay, clearly I don't have a lot of room here. But uh, let's focus. Dial in some a little bit brighter. It's interesting, all these different levers and pulleys and any water in the tank apparently <laughs> there is water in the tank i'll take a shot of that and i just noticed there's like little tiny keys here so i'm going to get a shot of one of these little keys next to the gauge so the key will be the subject and then the gauge will be just sort of a backdrop. See what I mean? 
if I make the key the subject, then the gauges, you know, getting them all in the shot is not quite as important. And then I'll just drop the aperture down to f1.8 to blur them out even more. Okay, let's see what's inside. Oh, pretty simple. Looks like every other truck here. Actually, I like the siren flasher switch over here. Because the speedometer and stuff is pretty generic, but these would be kind of unique to the fire truck. So I'm gonna go with that. I focus in right over here. Yeah. All right, it's uh, an old Ford truck over there. Oh, I like the grass. And uh, I'm gonna frame it something like this. How about this side? This side is good too. And if I could get the whole truck in the grass, that would be cool. It's my polarizer. Uh, right there. Okay, let's try this. I'm gonna try and get the whole truck, oh, maybe with the tires there. I can get the whole truck in, then these worn out tires are kind of a bonus, I think. I mean, it makes the picture on the right side a little heavy. So I need to fill the frame, but I can't, because the left side has this uh, trailer. So maybe I'll balance it this way, truck on the left. Shocking. I like this red, yellow rust. This fan here actually looks a little futuristic to me. <laughs> have to get way back. I like these two trucks here. It's almost like they're uh, driving down the road and one is right behind the other waiting at maybe a stop sign or a traffic light of some kind. How about this? Old cars in a garage here.
the year. <laughs> Could be the year. There's some fighter style. I think Dario Speedwagon's in here. Oh, okay. I thought that was a band. <laughs> it is. Wow, look it's at this looking. Ford. Yeah. But it's really dark. <laughs> wow. That band got the name from the truck. I had no idea. Yep. Is it all the way in the back or? I think it is. It probably will be quicker to go to the other side. Okay. But this is cool. Yeah, this is a cool shot. A little bucket of hay right next to it, ready to go. 